Okay, today we are going to uh, look at some the first steps, uh, basic strumming on the guitar. So we are going to use the notation on the right. As you can see, uh, the small bridge-like thing on top is called a downstroke. So a downstroke means you are essentially playing down. Okay, so in music we use a four count. So uh, if you look at the first measure, the exercise 1.1, then we are using the bridge and the downstroke so that essentially uh, you count at a particular speed. The speed can be faster like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But let's make it slower to start with. So let's take a basic time of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to play that downstroke one, two, three, four. So without me counting. So that's eight times. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Now what am I doing uh, with the left hand is I'm just playing E minor chord. So that's the simplest chord that you can play. Uh, so you could do that. Just hang on to that. Keep these two fingers down the way I've got it there. So keep that down. Okay, two fingers out here on the fourth and fifth string. And don't hold the plectrum like this. It's better to hold the plectrum like this rather than any other way. Instead of like this. So hold it like this so that you get a grip and your wrist moves. So let's take with this. Now the exercise 1.2 which you see, the next exercise is all upstroke. So the first one we did one. Now the second exercise is all upstroke. One. Now let's do exercise 1.3 where you're playing down and then up, retaining the same timing. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So work on that for some time until you get that right. Now, once you've got that correct, then you can attempt more complicated sounds. Uh, let me look at exercise 1.4. So what does 1.4 do for you? The 1.5, sorry, I'm sorry, my exercise in four, which is uh, exercise 1.5 on the right side. So it's saying play down, 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 and then play down up, but the down up is faster. So you go one, two, I'm only repeating the first measure. That means, uh, if you can see the cursor here, it's the first part. The first part, I'm doing this part, uh, the first measure, only the first measure, and I'm repeating that again and again. So only the first measure of the four exercises. So 1.5 has four parts, four measures. Uh, each of them is counted four times. So if you look at that, I'm playing the downstroke. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that was the first measure that we're repeating. Now let's look at repeating the second measure where I'm doing this on the third count. So that is one, two, three. Let's look at the third exercise in the same row, exercise 1.5, the third row, where now I'm doing it on the second measure. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Now the last measure 
of exercise 1.5 where I'm doing this on the first count so one and So there we have it. You can go over this video and look at it a few times and practice that. So once you've got this fact, then you'll be able to change uh, chords uh, without me uh, losing a beat. You have to be learned how to change chords. So let's say I was doing the first measure. Uh, we keep the chords and changing to our next lesson. Today is all about only the strumming. But if you look at the first measure, I'm going to do the first measure again for you. The first exercise, uh, 1.5, the first measure for one, two, Once you have that going steadily on your right hand, then you can think of changing your chords without missing a beat on the right. So if I'm going to change chords, let's say I'm going to change from E minor chord to a C chord to a D chord to a G chord and then come back to an E minor chord. These are all common chords which people would use. So it's a little bit difficult to change from E minor to C and to D and then to G and back to E minor without missing a beat. But let's try that. So one. run through of how to get strumming going uh, and we did it with four chords now you can practice the other three patterns uh, using the same rhythm for example now if I was doing the fourth one the fourth pattern out there the fourth exercise 1.54 same chord sequence okay <laughs> and you're halfway to impressing everybody else uh, with this you can speed up that whole exercise for example just one more thing on that is how do I increase the tempo once you're completely comfortable with that I can make that reasonably fast and then it would sound very different <laughs> it that should be enough to get you started on the guitar uh, then we can get into more complicated exercises in subsequent videos <laughs>